So I'm majoring in engineering physics. Um, I, that requires a concentration in engineering field, so I'm focusing in nuclear engineering, uh, and more specifically in plasma physics within the nuclear engineering department. After graduating, I hope to um, continue on for a PhD in physics. For the PhD, my two big schools I think are University of Washington, Seattle, and probably University of California, Berkeley. Applying for a bunch of other schools as well when the time comes, but I think those two are going to be my top picks. Um, I'm very satisfied with how I performed at U of M. I think the thing that I'm the most proud of really comes down to like my ability to perform here. At first, like it was a rough start. After now a year and a half, I feel like I'm starting to reach to a level that I feel the same way that I felt when I was at Schoolcraft and wrapping up there. I attended Schoolcraft because in all honesty, I didn't really have many other options. Um, I did very, very poorly in high school. And even at the beginning of Schoolcraft, I had a very rough start there. It took me about two or three years to really get everything together. And so um, Ann Arbor wasn't even an option at that point. Really, there's two rough patches I've noticed here. One is the first semester here. It's a tough transition period. All I can say is that like, take that winter break or summer break, whatever break it is between your first and second semester, and reflect and kind of try and come back with a new positive mindset. The other one, which doesn't go away from my experience, is the first month of school. You're going to start off with a very easy semester, it seems like, and then about a month in, you're going to be swamped with work, more work than it seems like you can handle. Really, with that one, you just got to keep pushing through and keep grinding out the work. It's, it gets easier as you go on through the semester, but there's initial shock every semester of that, so just be prepared. I remember starting out first physics class I took here and I would look at these five homework problems that were once a week we get five problems and I would look at them and I couldn't even start them and I still remember distinctly the feeling of that first week or two walking to office hours thinking that like this might be way over my head and you're gonna feel like you're way over your head but everybody doing this feels like they're way over their head you just have to get used to it and don't sweat it too much it's a natural process that you have to go through focus on reading I read every textbook before I do homework I am reading my textbook and the material, then starting the homework. And it seems tedious and it seems excessive, but it's going to save you a lot of stress and a lot of time. It's not always useful in all classes. You really have to learn how to gauge it. I know people who don't even have textbooks a lot of the time or their textbooks aren't worthwhile and it happens. If you have a good textbook and you buy it for the class, I highly recommend reading it and focusing on that. I highly recommend getting involved with groups or something on campus. I did a lot at Schoolcraft, which made a huge difference for me, and it's taken me about a year and a half, three semesters here, to kind of figure that out. The more you get involved, the quicker you'll know people, the quicker you'll get study groups, things like that, and it might not be your thing, and it might be hard to push out of your comfort zone, but it's worthwhile in the long run. Um, in terms of what they can do better, I find that a lot of what they did was spoon-fed. You, you could get through the class with almost taking no notes. You get notes handed out, the practice exams are exactly like the finals. All of, like it's, it's pretty much spoon fed to you. And you'll get a little bit of that here. But the biggest thing here is that like you need to be able to learn on your own. And so really like making the students take notes, um, reading your textbook. You'll have finals where you don't get any practice exams, anything like that. And so you have to be comfortable when they say just anything we've learned this whole semester. So really um, kind of gearing towards that or offering some of the higher level classes I think would have been beneficial for transferring over here. I think Schoolcraft did a great job in preparing me for here. Schoolcraft is really what you make of it. You can go through Schoolcraft and never really have to work and do well. And you can also be swamped and work in extracurricular stuff. And so if you really put your time in and are not skimping out, you're gonna get you're gonna be well prepared when you come over here.